Hi everybody, this is Terry and I'm in the weather hut today and just all kinds of exciting things on the weather charts. I'm having a good day weather-wise. And you know, here in the house, I've got three cats that uh, live in the hut here. And if the forecast verifies, one of my cats might look like this by the time this weather system moves out early next week. We got a little clipper here that has the potential of bringing some significant snow to parts of the Midwest, even this local area. And I talked about this last night in one of my discussions and posts on the page where the European model was showing this whole system coming through here. But yesterday, the GFS, the U.S. model, just completely blew it off. But the overall track was coming in from the northwest to southeast like clippers go. And for any snow to fall in eastern Iowa or northwestern Illinois, we got to get this thing to go to the south of us. And that's what the European was showing. And lo and behold, the GFS, slow but sure, has caught on to the trend and now it takes the low pressure right on through extreme southeastern Iowa and eventually into east central Illinois. If that track holds, there's likely going to be a band of snow to the north of the clipper. Now these things move fast and they have limited moisture and the track is really critical and that'll probably move around a little bit here in the next couple of days, but you can see here that the GFS actually has some decent moisture coming out of this thing a quarter to a half an inch and if you translate that to snow, well, there you can see the band that extends from southwest Minnesota through northeast, east central Iowa and across northern Illinois. And the model, at least the GFS, indicates two to potentially four inches of accumulation. And there might even be some locally higher spots than that if we get a little banding going on. I guess the thing to stress right now is the potential is there for snow, but the exact track is still not 100% determined. So if this moves further north or south, that could get pushed around a little bit, but that's a very exciting map to me. I mean, an inch of snow this time of year is a big deal, and if anybody got four, that is a significant snow for so early on in the year. Also, when the snow is coming down, the temperatures have to be cold enough to support it, and here's what we got for readings as we get to the afternoon hours on next Tuesday, and you can see north of Interstate 80, readings are only in the 30s, which normal highs are still right around 61 degrees. That's a very cold day to see, say the least. And we're gonna go out a little bit further here. And finally, we're getting towards about the 26th or 27th here of uh, October. And we've been talking about another cold front coming through that's gonna be a potent one. And you can see it on the jet stream chart right here. It's really buckling in the cold air across the north central United States. And eventually this plows on through here around the 28th or 29th. And that's going to be even colder than this first wave of chilly air. And I would expect to see high temperatures again be back down in the 30s with this weather system once it comes on through. And you can see here the model definitely trying to do that with readings only in the 30s here by the time we get to around the 29th or 30th of October. So that is some remarkably cold air to say the least. And we definitely have some wintry weather in the forecast and some parts of the upper Midwest could even be doing a little shoveling here in the next three or four days. So that's something we'll be watching. Meantime, have yourself a terrific weekend. Ride low and roll weather. Let's go snow.